Hi, Ricardo. Hi, teacher. How are oh, you? I'm good. And you? It's okay. It was a, a good day today. Really? Why? Yeah, because it's um the the, the weather is is was a uh, 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 cool because uh, no no sunny. It's a uh, it's a little uh, uh, low. T uh, mm -hmm. uh, temp temperature is a medium. So yeah, it wasn't it, it wasn't hot, hot, hot today. So yes, <laughs> no hot, hot. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's I, true. Yes, I don't know the the the, the other classmates. <laughs> where 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 are are where? <laughs> Um, yeah, they'll be coming soon, I think. Let's wait. Ah, yes. <clears throat> All right. So they continue the interview for the for the ex uh, funcionaries. <laughs> oh yes, but I was watching and. Um... Some people from Nuevas Ideas are very stupid. Yes, yes. Did you see what they did? They yes. were in. They were interviewing um, Ana Vilma. Ana, yes. Ana Vilma Escobar, right? Yes. Is is it better to uh, are more professional for to to ask about the the question? The 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 purpose is inquiring about about that. Yes. In this in the, in this moment, the is uh, the other moment is is uh, is possible to 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 other other situation, but in this moment is uh, the is uh, the um, should should be a, a a professional interview. Or or they should have more background or more. Hi, Janita. They should have. I think they should have more background or. Um better evidence. Yes. Because there was this um, Congressman Cotto from Nuevas Ideas. He was, he did something very stupid today. Yes. He, did you see, he asked Ana Vilma Escobar, he asked her, did you receive extra money? And she says, no, explain this receipt. And he gives her a paper, un recibo, literally. Yes, yes. And, and she gets without, the paper. Without time. Mm -hmm. Yes. With no signature and no seal, only like like I made it on 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 word. Yes. And Vilma and Vilma Escobar says, "What is this? There's no signature. There's no seal. It's just a a paper in word format." Yes. <laughs> and and Cotto was he was quiet. He, he go like, "Oh uh oh." <laughs> yes. But yes. I can imagine Bukele like. Oh. Yes. Or like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I imagine the, what is the, the, uh, his expression about yes. the question. <laughs> that was very stupid. Did you see that, Janita? No, I think we lost Janita. What, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We were talking today. Uh, we were talking about that. Today they were interviewing. Ah, so Bill Mescobar, you, you were talking about that. Yes. But I didn't, I didn't saw that. I didn't see that in interview. <laughs> oh, it was, I mean, Ana Bill Mescobar, first, we have to admit that she's a very prepared woman. Yes. And um, if you're going to attack her, be prepared because she can defend herself. And then there was a stupid diputado. Diputado in English would be congressman. Yeah, what's oh, up, Gio? Oh, yeah. yeah, we're here. Yeah, we can hear you, Gio. No, we can't. Nope. No, no, no. 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Hola, ¿cómo están? <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo están? Sí, Mucho sí. gusto. Eh, les saludamos de... <laughs> <laughs> ¿Dónde están los solteros? <laughs> no, we're talking about uh, that the stupid congressman. He he, he asked Vilma Escobar, and he, he's like, "Did you receive any 
any extra money? And she says, no. And then the idiot, he says, okay, can you explain this to me? And he gives her a paper that is supposedly a receipt. And she takes the paper and she says, what is this? It's a receipt, but there is no signature. There's no stamp. There's no seal, nothing. It's like he it's like five minutes before he made yo nadie más cobar la civil de mil dólares de parte de la 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 fecha tal and then nadie más cobar she was this is not valid oh yeah but there's more evidence and then she says would you consider this valid and the diputado was just quiet yeah stupid idiot Bukel <laughs> in this moment <laughs> me lo sacan please <laughs> Mm -hmm. Next, next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, United States won today, right? To Qatar. Yeah. That's strange. I imagine Qatar was going to win. But... So tomorrow is Mexico, Canada, right? Yeah, I think I think your microphone is bad again, Gio. Yeah. Hello, Rosalena. How are you? You are on mute. No, no. <laughs> okay, now yeah. I see. Yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, and you? Fine. I'm fine. Fine. All right. Cool. Cool. I took a shower some minutes ago, and I'm very fresh. Nice, nice. Um, I have a question for you, Rosa. Yes. Do you know the size of beds in hotels? Um, is um, no. I just know with the name. You see. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. What is the single bed in El Salvador? Is this is like for one person the small bed, correct? Yeah, one twenty. One meter twenty. Cent. Okay, yeah. So it's the single one for one. What is yeah. the twin bed? The twin is, I think, is uh, the matrimonial is one point sixty. Okay. So then the twin bed. Okay, I always thought that it. So it's two singles together, maybe. Two um, depend what you want because in our hotel, for example. In a in a double room, there are two um, twins. Okay, be, okay, be, yeah, okay. The reason why I ask you is because that I know of in English is king size, queen, double, and single. Mm, not necessary. Um, mm -hmm. Because in El Salvador, I don't know. I don't know. It is right. So yeah. the matrimonial, which one would that be? The double or the queen? The double. The double is 1.60. And the queen is uh, 1.80. Okay. Okay, now I get it. I So matrimonial is actually a size. It's, 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 it's formal. 1.60, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Now I understand. Uh, because sometimes, like yesterday, today I was taking a lot of hotel calls and I thought a twin bed was two beds. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, so a twin bed is matrimonial. A single is just for one person. Uh, like one room, one meter. There is another size, 1.40. Is a is a single too? That's a but, single. Oh, yeah, man. that depend depend of the facility of, of the. the oh, hotel. Okay, so in El Salvador, en buen hablado tenemos la king, la queen, la matrimonial. Y la individual. Y la individual. Okay, cool. Thank you. I just learned something today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, Ricardo, you have a, 
You have a Canada shirt. Uh, a, cam a camera? Canada shirt. Ah, yes, yes, Canada, yes. It's, <laughs> it's a, a gift for a, a relative from Canada. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Do you know what you call that leaf in Canada? It's a... Um, uh, I don't remember what the name uh, the leaf in, in in English. Think of a pancake. What do you put on a on a pancake? A uh, pancake is um. Maple, what is uh, maple, 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 syrup. Uh, maple syrup. Maple syrup. So that is a maple leaf. A uh, maple leaf. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a maple leaf. Okay. It's funny how can, Canadians are the champions of hockey and there's only like four teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> today, yeah. We, today won uh, United States uh, to Qatar. Yes, yes. It's, and tomorrow's Canada, Mexico. Canada, Mexico. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm beautiful. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right, let's do the reading part. It says, hold on, let me move. Wedding shop leaves. I can't, I can't. Hey, man, I can't erase this. Ah, there's Jaime. There's Jaime looking for <laughs> following Bukele. <laughs> okay, uh, wedding shop leaves bride's wedding at altar. Hmm. Okay, uh, good, let's do this. Let me see how many paragraphs are here. One. Let's break this in three paragraphs, all right? So, uh, Rosa, would you like to read the first paragraph, please? I can see. Really you can see? see? But I can see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I left, I left my glasses in, in my office. Oh, man, I'm suffering right now. Who can see <laughs> very good? Every year, every year more than right, 3,000 cool. miles right to the United Kingdom. The shop is for the perfect people. I don't know what one to tell make their waiting a perfect I'm day. sorry, is there any possible way you can get closer to the mic? Okay. Every year more Thank than 3,000. 3,000 or 300,000? 300,000 brides in the United Kingdom go shopping for the perfect ground to help make their wedding a perfect day. We caught up with famous famous, mm -hmm. famous brides who would like to ask Be Berna and Robert Davis, the people who run to the It's Your Day wedding shop in Tombury, England. Good. Why okay, okay. Uh, just a quick question. Honestly, does everybody understand the expressions and the words? I, I think he's talking about a wedding planner services. Okay, but what is a wedding gown? Wedding gown. Because I, I look for it. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, the wedding gown is like, you know, for a woman, the most important thing is like the wedding gown, right? The white dress. Yes, it has to be a beautiful gown. You know, um, okay. Gown. Like a quinceañera, you know, she has to have a beautiful gown. Thank you, Mas. Oh, in graduations too, women have to have. Well, women have to have a gown for any occasion, to be honest. <laughs> but um, according to, you know, for women, or women take it like in, in a wedding, the gown is very important. So this is what it says here. Um, brides in the UK go shopping for the perfect gown 
to help make their wedding a perfect day. We caught up with various brides who would like to ask Verna and Robert. Okay, what is caught up? Hello. Que los, como que los encontraron, los agarraron. O nos topamos. Yes, lo alcanzamos. Okay. Good. So we caught up with Furious Brides. Furious, remember yesterday, Furious. Uh, who would um, who would like to ask Verna and Robert Davis, the people who run It's Your Day Wedding Shop. I think I was telling you yesterday or oh, uh, this week that er um, everything is capitalized in English. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, months, months, days, titles. So this is how you know it's a title. Because sometimes people say, uh, for the people who run It's Your Day, ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Well, if you see it's everything in a title, it's a name. So, oh, that's the name of the shop. Okay, so It's Your Wedding Day shop in Thornbury, England. Why they, okay, oh, oh, that's where we stopped, right? Can you continue, Anita? So we're in Thunbury, England. Hello, Janita. What? Can you continue, please? Uh, okay. Thunbury, uh, England. England, why they didn't get their dress in time? Or at all, Heather Moloyle paid 60. Sixty and a half hundred to that. Okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. Hold on. It says so. Then they were very angry people. So they um, they have the it's your day wedding shop in Thorbury, England. Why they didn't get their dress in time or at all? Mm -hmm. So some people, some brides, they didn't get their dress on time, and some didn't get the dress at all. Mm -hmm. um, Heather Molloy paid 650 pounds. Okay, can you continue, please? 650 pounds. To the day visit for a deposit on her dress. After her second visit, she realized Bernard Davis was not measuring up to her expectations. Okay, good. After her second visit, she realized Verna Davis was not measuring up to expectations. Listen to that expression. You're not measuring up. Measure, like measure. You know, so when you when somebody says he's not measuring up to my expectations. I'm sorry, whoever's watching TV can or I don't know, can you use a headset, please? Because there's a lot of background noise. And everybody can hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm sorry, Anita, can you continue, please? Okay, do we understand everything in this moment? Yes, okay, Yanira, can you continue, please? Okay, Heather said, I have several things canceled or delayed for different reasons and different excuses, and this went on for a period of time. I was warm because I was supposed to pick up my wedding dress. And two, two weeks. weeks before the, the wedding. And he said, no, 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 don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Very good. I like how you read the last part. And he said, no, no, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. What is this expression? Um, it says, Heather said, I had several fittings canceled. What do you understand by that? Oh, class in general, what do you understand? It is like a pre, pre parties or pre something for the main day. Okay, first, do you, know, do you understand the word fit? Fit, uh, when, when, yeah, well, she tried the dress. 
Okay, good. So according, I mean, women, when you have a, um, when they have the dress made, they go, I don't know, like, because, you know, some women, they take it so seriously that two months before they go, ¿cómo es? La, la mujeres que no comen, ¿cómo se llaman? Anorectica. Anorexic. Yes. Bulimic, yeah. anorexic. Bulimic, anorexic, and everything. <laughs> so, like, every two weeks, they go and do fittings. Like, ¿cómo me queda hoy? Boom. No, más, más. Boom, 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 boom. So, in this case, that's what Heather said. I had several fittings canceled. So that means when she had to go and, and have her uh, scheduled fittings, they always canceled. Oh, look, honey, we can't today. We can't today. We can't tomorrow. Yes. And they always said, no, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Um, Gio, can you read the next part? The next half, please. The ceremony? Yes. Okay. The ceremony was planned. The cake was chosen. The guests were invited, but there was still no wedding dress. Finally, on the night before her wedding, when she was supposed to be having dinner with family and friends, Heather got the call to say her dress would be ready. However, when she got there, the dress still wasn't ready. The Davises promised to work on the dress all night and deliver it first thing in the morning on, of the big day. Mm -hmm. After a sleepless night, Heather a had sleepless just, night. Uh -huh, sleepless night, like King Diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After a sleepless night, mm -hmm. Heather had just two hours to go before her wedding, and there was still no sign of the Davises. With only one hour to spare, Heather finally cut her loses. Loses. Mm -hmm. She went to the nearest weaving shop and bought a replacement dress of the rack. She never even got a refund of, on her deposit. We also spoke to re, to what? Robin Robin Brown, mm -hmm. who is getting married two days. From now, she didn't know whether or not she would receive her dress on time. So she already bought a replacement. What, what's more, Rachel Thorpe took the Davises to court after they supplied her with a bo bodies, bodies mm -hmm. that was defective and didn't even fit her. I didn't even fit her. Mm -hmm. We have asked the 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 Davises for uh, for a statement regarding the complaints, but but so far they haven't issued one, and we're wondering if they will. All right, good. Thank you. So, um, first, this would not have happened in El Salvador. Hmm. <laughs> because this woman no you give me the dress or you give me the dress there's no excuse now <laughs> all right do you have any questions did you understand the story yes some what some expressions okay good that yeah that's what that's what I wanted to hear. What expressions, for example? Mm, let me see. I'm still signing the Davises with only one hour to spare. Heather finally cut her looses. Her looses. Ah, yeah. Yes, cut that, her looses. That, that. So, cut, cortó sus lazos. That means, okay, imagine, figuratively, she was attached. Yes, she was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until she says no. So she cut her loses. Enough. Enough. <laughs> yes, it's all yeah. And um, 
and uh, she went to buy a dress. That's a, an expression. What is another expression? Address of the rack means from the the um, the place where it shows. Okay, very good. That's a very good question. From the rack. Okay. Once again, remember the dream. Not not every woman, but the dream of a woman is to have her dress custom made. Awesome. Do you know what is custom made? Yeah. Yes. It, what is custom made in Spanish, Gio? Um, es como, ahí sería como hecho a la medida. Exactly. Tuyo, tuyo, solo para vos. Yes. So yeah, that dress is custom made. But in this case, Sería it's personalizado. Personalized, yes. That's true. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It's custom made. And not only a dress. I mean, if you're very rich, um, you can have a car custom made. Like, did you know that Kobe Bryant? I think he bought a... He was the only person in the world. I don't, I don't know if it was a Porsche or a Lamborghini. But the thing is that it was like one of the most expensive cars in the world and they were all standard. Standard. What is, what is, you know, los cambios, right? Mm -hmm. But um, Kobe Bryant, his wife loved that car, but she couldn't drive standard, so she could only drive automatic. Mm -hmm. So imagine what the power is. Kobe Bryant spoke with the owner of those cars, and he says, I love your car, I want to buy it, but I want an automatic. Mm -hmm. We don't make automatics. <laughs> but then the man said, hey, it's Kobe Bryant. So then, yes, they made the car custom made for his wife. Wow. That's so cool. So um, back to your question, Rosa. She, since she couldn't get her dress custom made, she went from the rack. De los que están colgados. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, every, and usually like everybody, we buy our clothes like that, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. like the regular ones. Yes. I think yeah. even uniforms. Uniforms are not even custom made anymore, or yes. Uniforms for school. Remember when you were little? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but and then your mom. ¿Saben cómo se dice sastre en inglés? Taylor. Taylor. Remember when you were small and your mom would take you to the tailor and the tailor... You know, and took all your sizes and he made your, your clothes. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't exist anymore, right? Now, now is I want a large, a medium, an extra large. All right. Maybe Taylor is the a la medida, no. Well, Taylor is the person that makes no no no, but, but sometimes you use uh, you, you, uh, you in Hacer algo a la medida también de, lo traducen como tailor, como algo, de, algo a la medida, ¿no? No, a la medida sería custom made or tailor made. The only difference that tailor made, that tailor only makes clothes. Pero fíjate que yo, yo he leído así en, en cuestiones técnicas que sí o se utilizan eso, el término a la medida. Tailor, something, something is tailor. Uh, for something like that or whatever that you can use tailor uh, como a la medida. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've never heard. No, I, no, I, 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 heard I, have, I, I have heard the expression tailor made. But that's um, that's like um, es como decir, this is uh, Versace made. Tailor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. custom made, remember, custom made is what I was telling you. It's not only clothes. Custom made is any object, anything. That's why I told you the story about um, Kobe Bryant. He had a car custom made. 
rich people, they have their, oh, your jewelry. When you get married, your ring is custom made, no? Mm -hmm, custom made. I think. <laughs> I thought uh, I must say tailored. Like, like in past, tailored with it. Yes, that's what I was thinking, but I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. and to be honest, I never heard that expression. I mean, unless it was tailored made. Tailor made, yeah. Tailor I have made. heard that expression too. Yes, but it, it, that's like saying custom made, but the only difference is mm -hmm. tailor made, it was from a famous tailor. Uh, tailor. You know, uh, in, in the internet, you put tailor is a la medida. Yes, but only for clothes. No, 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 for clothes. You use uh, in, in technical English, I use that's uh, that is something you are completely sorted, uh, something at uh, uh, the tailor uh, specific for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 hear, um, I thought this that uh, when I have uh, something, algo a la medida. Hold on. I don't tell the Taylor, Taylor, or maybe in the Middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, they Google. No, estoy in in lingüe. Sí, sí, pero pero mira. Eh, okay, no, okay, pero dijo algo no algo interesante. Dando, dijo algo interesante. Hey, 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 if it's technical English, it's very probable that tailored made means something but, like that. In, in, in this case, in a tailor, in, in a, uh, I don't know, technical English, is a Google, Google for, for everyone. What is, the, what is the sentence? Yeah, they, they use uh, the something you are uh, uh, Made made something uh, table or a uh, or... no? What is the sentence that you're reading right now in Google? No, 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 no. Only put it put in in Google. Tailor. Just the word. Just just the word. Tailor. And what does it say? A la medida. Okay, can you put it in a sentence? Does it give a sentence as an example? Yeah. That no, no. The... In Google, in Google, not from you. In Google. Okay, and dice, tailored, Google dice, es a la medida. Hay una oración ahí de ejemplo? No. Uh, There should be. Tradu no, no, no. Quiero ver. No, 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 no hay, no es, no, no, no hay. No hay. Miren el chat. Le voy a mandar esto, hold on. Sí, yo lo uso, aquí lo tengo también, es el, el Deep, tra, el, el deep tra, tra Late. Okay. Este es muy bueno también, Lingui. Sí, sí, el Lingui, ajá. Sounds good. Este, ¿saben por qué es bueno? Les digo, porque este lo usan los traductores oficial, o sea, es, es bien accurate. Bueno, pero también te lo traduce a la medida también, ve, Taylor. Okay, okay, está bien, maybe, I never a la, heard it. A la, a la medida. Okay. Taylor, adjective, past participle, a la medida, adaptado, adaptada, adaptados. Taylor, Taylor, product, los productos, Taylor, product, uh, meet individual need. Yes, I was, I was reading, but. Cubren necesidades particulares. Okay, okay. Um, Let's dive in then, I guess. Our, but I, uh, another is our services are, are, are tailored to the client need. Uh, nuestros servicios están adaptados a las necesidades del cliente. Sí, pero esos clientes pueden estar refiriéndose a ropa. No, los servicios. Estás refiriendo a los servicios. servicios. Okay, okay. It's fine. That, si está así, úsenlo. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> but Taylor is the person, remember. But, they, but they, it's okay. But it's okay, they, Jaime. Use it if you see it like they, that. It's no problem. No, but, Use the, it. but, but, but for you, that, that, that you are the, too close. For example, for example, the tailored shirt, shirt, shirt does that not fit me well. La camisa eh, 
entallada, dice, no me queda bien. Mm -hmm. That's a different word, that's fit. Okay. Um, the the but, other, other sentence is the, the school tailor the course to, to each student need. La escuela adapta los cursos a las necesidades de cada alumno. Okay. Yeah, that's according to language. But um, no, no, it's, 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 I understand, I understand. But if you see it, it's fine, do it. So it's, it's okay, mm -hmm. it's, it's understandable. But remember, um, anyway, but Taylor is the person. Mm -hmm. All right, Taylor is like the chef, a cook, a driver. Taylor is, is the person that does the clothes. And maybe they even is expression tailored because a tailor has to do that. He has to do everything a la medida. Okay, um, maybe, yes, I see your point. Maybe it's an expression, but it's maybe not formal English. It's just an expression, but it's okay. But you can also do, um, I would, I would re recommend you to use custom made mm -hmm, yeah. when we speak about that. Like mm -hmm. for example, you Rosa, Elena, that you work in hotels, you would need to use like custom made. You know, these are yeah. custom made um, drapes, curtains. These are custom made sheets for the bed. Exactly. Okay. Um, wait, where are we? Hold on. Do you see my page? It's the reading part, correct? Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Oh, there you go. So do you see the part where it says listening? Yeah. All right, let's listen to this conversation, which I imagine you already did. But let's listen to it as a class. Women, do you still have uh, your clothes custom made or tailored? Not anymore. Many years ago, yes. <laughs> yes. To be honest, maybe it's not necessary anymore, huh? Yeah, it's true. I think I think you. Um, I think you you need a tailor only if you have a very strange body. Traje de, traje de mariachi. Yeah, like for example, I had a boss that. He always, always, always wore suits. Mm -hmm. And you look at him and everything was normal. But mm -hmm. when he takes his suit off, his shoulders, he has no shoulders. It's like, <laughs> they were like this. <laughs> like mm -hmm. a thong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very strange. So you know how we should have your shoulders wide? His were very short. So then I understood why he always wore a suit because the suits are straight. So then the suits gave him a little more space. Yeah. You know, like, ah, go on, let's saw. It's like Gio, the singer, the singer, uh, Corey Taylor, the singer from Slipknot, Slipknot. He says that he has a problem. If you look at him, he's normal. But his neck oh, is very con thick. Con his razón. Neck... Está... Hey, David, con razón. Yes. Está bien jodido. Le tienes que mandarlo. That's the, that's the <laughs> guy from Cannibal Carps. Him too? Yeah. Yeah, he... I was watching the interview of Corey Taylor. And his yeah. neck is the size of his head. And when yeah, he like... says that, and you look at him, you say, hey, it's true. <laughs> yeah. So he the says David he... Carps guy. For him too? So he yeah. says he always has to have his shirt. He has to have his shirts custom made because he can't find a shirt that with a enough. And then he's not fat or he's he's normal, but he has a very big. So I think that's when you need a tater nowadays. Is when you have a strange body part. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't want to do. It. Okay, let me see. Let's listen to this. It says instructions, listen to the conversation between exchange students, then choose the correct answer. 
Do you notice an exchange student? King, that the student coming from other country? Yes. Very, yeah, very good, Jaime. And you know that's very popular in El Salvador now. No. It depends well, it, of, the, of the institution. For example, the people who study in the French Academy. Yeah. Or, uh -huh. or, the, or the Liceo Francais. Um, yes. They have that kind of, of system. Yes, uh, it's true because um, I know a lot of, a lot of, I had a lot of friends that studied there. Or, and, or, or um, a, a American school, probably American school or British school, yeah, it's common. Yeah, it's more common like with European countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if you, if you, it, if, but you know, this is, this is the agreement. Like huh? if you, like what Carlos said, if you work in, um, if you study in the French school, of course, here you're rich. And um, there's another French student in, in France and he wants to practice Spanish. When they graduate high school, you can exchange. That student will come to your house and your kid will go to his house. Exchange students. You know, so that's kind of cool. I would like when I, you know, I would have liked to have been an exchange student. But here, here, but I don't know, American school and British school, you have to know some people, but they, for the relative live here, and then you are working at the, as a ambassador, ambassador or the- Oh, no, well, yeah, maybe, no, but there are some schools that they do the contract, they do the connections, like yeah, the Francis, the they do the connections, like the investigations and everything. It's not mm -hmm. like, hola, mire, no, no quiere cambiar hijos. No, it's not. They, have, they <laughs> actually, they actually, there's a procedure and they have to do it. I imagine mm -hmm. there are meetings, parents and them, and okay, this is what we expect. This is what we want. This is, so that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's listen to this exchange students. Oh, you know, by the way, FYI, I have a cousin. I was speaking with him because his father recently died, so he came to visit. He um, he has a scholarship in Italy. No, Holland. Holland, and I'm, I'm always in contact with him in, in Facebook. So when I saw him, I said, hey, how are you, Roberto? Or, Look, I'm sorry about your father. Yeah, okay. So when we change the topic, so tell me, how, how is Holland? Have you gone to Van Gogh's house? Have you gone to, um, how do you say famous, uh, the Holland, uh, Amsterdam? Have you gone to Amsterdam? Yeah. And it was, I, he told me something, he told me something very interesting. He told me, look, it's a beautiful country, man. Everything is so perfect. But they are very, they have extreme restrictions with me. With me, like example, he says that he can't work. He can't work over there. He can't buy a car. He can't buy a house. And the government tells him, hey, in three years, the <laughs> Yeah, and he tells me that, the, um, but that's how they are with everybody because the, uh, Holland, they open the doors. Okay, come study here, but don't stay here. Mm -hmm. Because he says, like, for me to stay there, it's going to be very difficult because either I have to be legal and there's a procedure, not like the United States. And it's not, it's not that easy. So I was, oh, really? Yeah, he says, I'm very happy there, but I know that in two years I have to come back or I have to invent something, you know, unless I, ha I find a very, very good job there and they give me a contract so I can present to the government. Yeah, when I see the government will give me um, an extension for one year <laughs> or, or for, you know, and then I have to renew, renew, renew. Okay. <laughs> Go to Watty, man. <laughs> and his brother, his brother lives in Germany. 
but his brother had a job here, a very good job, and the company was German. So then the company took him back to Germany. So el cine fue super bien. The funny part is that he had one son here. So they had a son in Germany, and his brother was telling me, if you have a son in Germany, te abre la puerta a todo. Your wife doesn't work for five years. The government pays you five years. If you have a son, o sea, de cuentos, and this is special education, they are so happy that you are having children. <laughs> Pero the interesting thing he told me is that his wife, she didn't want any more children. Mm. She says, okay, con dos, it's enough. So she went to the hospital and asked to be sterilized. Mm -hmm. And they didn't permit her. <laughs> Can you imagine that? No, no, sister, you can't. So actually, they expect them to have more babies. So he told me, if I have another baby, like in five, four years, my wife, another five years that she won't work. <laughs> Great. Yo, Come on, so what are you doing, man? And does this have another baby, you know? But that's why that's why those countries are first class <laughs> first class countries. They are smart. So if you ever meet some, uh, uh, so my 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 cousin he was telling me that you know like basically all of Europe is like that. And when you go as an exchange student, it doesn't mean that ah, but we're going yeah. You know, so there are restrictions. And he told me, aunque yo tenga todo el dinero del mundo. I can't buy a car. Porque es una señal de que ya estoy comprando propiedades ahí. So then the government takes, like, ah, so you're planning to stay here. Huh? So, so imagine that. All right, so let's see this. Let's listen to this um, conversation. Listen to a conversation Can between two exchange yeah. students, yeah. Akiko and Jack. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Jack. Hello there, Akiko. How are you? Not bad. How about you? Excellent. I'm really enjoying living with my American host family. Yeah, me too. Except that sometimes it's hard to follow their customs. What do you mean? Well, the food mainly. My host family eats cereal and milk for breakfast and cheese sandwiches for lunch. And for dinner, they usually eat some kind of pasta with cheese sauce. Yeah, and? Is that weird? Well, at home, I don't eat so much milk and cheese. That's a lot of dairy. What does your family normally eat? Japanese food mainly. For breakfast, we usually eat rice and miso soup. For lunch and dinner, we eat rice and some type of grilled meat or fish, often with eggs. Sometimes my mother makes seafood and vegetables with noodles or prepares a tofu dish. We don't eat cheese or drink milk very often. I guess I never thought about how much dairy people eat here. Is it different in Australia? Well, Australians do eat a lot of dairy, but maybe not as much as Americans. What is traditional Australian food like? Hmm. Well, breakfast is pretty much the same, milk and cereal, or muesli. For lunch and dinner, Aussie food used to be a lot like British food, lots of meat pies and fish and chips. But now there is more variety. Sandwiches are common, and we eat a lot of meat. Lamb and beef are popular. Some people even eat kangaroo steak, but that's a special dish. Yeah. Kangaroo steak? What's that like? Yeah. Delicious. You should try it. But hey, I love Japanese food, too. I miss it so much. Hey, let's find a good Japanese restaurant and eat out tonight. Great idea. Hey, that was a good direct question. He took advantage of the conversation. Hey, okay, so now you're gonna you know, I was wondering if uh, maybe, you know, I mean, you, you might want to eat Japanese. No. Okay, so... 
Yeah, that's the custom. That's the traditional food in the United States, right? Uh, cereal, sandwiches, a lot of cheese. What is a traditional breakfast in El Salvador? Eggs, um, beans. Eggs, beans. Eggs and beans. And beans. And beans. And, um, plantain. 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 Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee, of course. Okay. Well, uh, Ricardo, what is a traditional breakfast in, in San Miguel? Um, no, it's the same. It's, it's uh, eggs and, and beans, uh, and the the the, the rice, uh, a white, uh, a black, white, white, black, black rice. Yeah, but people in San Miguel are crazy. They have lunch for breakfast. Yes, I remember, yes, it, 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 and this is true. I remember. I lived two years in San Miguel, and I remember I had a class at seven in the morning. So I woke up. You know, I left my house at six. And looking for a diner, comedor. And every diner I went to, they had carne asada, pollo asado, chorizo, like like a lunch. Yes. And I remember, yeah. and it was so good because you know you're hungry, you know you're thinking, oh, quiero huevitos a la ranchera. And when you walk in and you see like chorizos and and, and meat and chicken and rice at six in the morning, man. So one time, one time I asked a lady. Listen, why, why in San Miguel people eat a strong breakfast? And she told me that um, it's a tradition because like in the 50s, 60s, people used to go to work and people only ate two times a day. Mm -hmm. You know, like, okay, so they ate a very, they ate a very strong breakfast and go to work and come back and eat... Um, lunch i'm sorry come back and eat dinner so that 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 breakfast had to be enough for breakfast and lunch oh wow, that's the story she told me <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. but that's true really i mean um have you ever been to mercado central like at six in the morning i do yeah they have sopa de pata man at six in yeah. the morning <laughs> But uh, in, in the weekend, no, any day. Wow, any I day, went. Any I day. went. I went. I remember. I went on a weekday. Mm, a weekday, and, and it was six, and it, it was funny because I, I was very I was young and uh, I was drinking with my friends, and mm. they told me, "Hey, man, I want a sopa de pata." You know, we were drunk already. And he <laughs> says, oh, "Yeah, let's go. Let's go have one." Where? Where? Where are we gonna find this two in the morning? He says, no, let's keep on drinking. And then we go to Mercado Central, and at five in the morning, they all have sopa de pata. Well, you're crazy. And, um, but we did, we continued drinking until like six in the morning. And we actually went to them, and they did have sopa de pata, man. Like, <laughs> made it was the best sopa de pata because at six in the morning, you know, like, champions. In, 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 Japan, in Japan, it's in the breakfast, uh, it's a, a, a miso soup. It's a oh, miso yeah. soup and rice. Yeah, that's what that's what what was her name? I Aikiko. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yo, that's funny what you said, the Chico Che. Yeah. <laughs> the memory. I you know, I, I actually saw it on the computer because like in this stupid ugly phone that I have, it's very small. I couldn't read it. That was good. I liked it. <laughs> that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> that's my daughter. <laughs> Yeah, so um, everybody has different different types of um, traditional food, right? In the United States, the big, the big, the main dish, I'm sorry, the main meal is dinner. Yeah. What about in El Salvador? Maybe, maybe lunch, yeah. It would be yeah, lunch, maybe. right, yes. Lunch. Yeah, so that's why in the United States, if you notice, like all this... Uh, Subways, so for them, lunch is something very quick, you know, like a sandwich and uh, chips. Yeah, and when they get home, the, the, and, and the dinner, you have a meat or a strong meat. Yeah, they um, have for them their dinner is like lunch for us, they'll have their meat, their chicken. I, I don't know if, if, if that is because of the sun, they have more sun than us, and maybe they can go to bed later. Maybe I don't know. Yes, because remember in the United States, I mean, in a perfect world, you know, they, they work from nine to four 
There's no traffic. You know, they get home with a smiling face. Hi, honey. Hello, dear. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Oh, thank you. I can know, like, traes el pan. Oh, man, no. Oh, man, there's a lot of traffic. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I'm so happy. Do you know, do you know Pan Indio? Pan Indio. It's like, there's a bakery in my house. This new people, they moved, they opened a bakery. Yes, pan flan says indio like artesanal or something, but it's so good. It's like, mm. and, um, it, but it's bad because I'm getting, I'm eating a lot. I'm eating too much bread right now. I, I'm eating bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because it's so good. When you smell it and it's when you open it, it's very. Um, I don't know. It's just if 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 I meet you in person, I would take you some, and it's very cheap. It's a precio normal, like. Four for a like, quarter, like fluffy or something like that. Yes, it's very fluffy, and, and so I, I'm buying too much of that. I'm eating too too much because I buy every day. I buy some, and you know, in the morning I put um, butter, um, Philadelphia cheese. I love Philadelphia cheese. Yeah, and those are my 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 breakfast. And then I don't know. I make anything with with those breads, sandwich, garlic bread. I have to stop. <laughs> you know, in, in, in yeah. San Miguel, in San Miguel is common to some people that they invited you, mm -hmm. uh, they invited you uh, to, to eat uh, quesadillas de la, uh, hechas en casa. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened is, is uh, uh, maize, bro? Yeah, there, there are some made from corn. Yes, it's true. I, I corn, 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 Bo uh -huh. voltea Volteadas is, is a famous plant. Uh, in San Miguel, Volteadas. Volteadas? I don't remember those. Hey, yes. class, I have a question. Have you been to, remember that famous place, La Posada, when you come from the beach? Yeah, in La Libertad. Uh, yeah, the uh, quesadillas. Yeah. There was a, a big... Yeah, it's, it's good. I don't like yeah. pasta, but the people say that it's really, really nice. No, no, they are. It, the, the, but my question is, have you passed there recently? Because the last two times I passed... I have bought quesadillas, but they're not the same anymore. Uh, so I, I, I was going to ask you that because before it's like when you would bite, you feel the cheese and now it's just like a normal Sinai quesadilla. <laughs> uh, two uh, days ago, my brother brought me some mirada de posadas and we had in and, yeah, and they're expensive. So I was going to ask you, I don't know if it's me. But the last two times I've gone there, they're not the same. So if you ever go, I recommend you buy the small one or eat it first. <laughs> because you never know. So listen, Aikiko isn't used to eating what? The vegetable soup. Vegetable and soup. She isn't used to eating what? Vegetable and soup. Oh, pasta, I think. Yeah, I think that's what she ate mostly. So what do you think? Pasta, vegetable soup, or cheese? Vegetables and soup. All right, let's do vegetables. So vegetable. Really, I haven't done this one, so but I would I would say because listen, it's negative. She isn't used to eating. Yep. Yeah. I thought so, that's she not was the regular to the platform, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. No, is no, no, a, but the answer is okay. I, I do. Yeah, the answer is okay. Yeah. Is in really? Meat. This is the correct answer? Vegetable and soups? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's correct. Answer. I mean, according yeah. to the platform? Oh, God. According, according to the platform, it's. Yes. Maybe the person the right that question. did. The, yeah. Maybe yeah. the person forgot that it was a negative, and Aikiko is used to it's eating. Used. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, okay. Ah, but you get it wrong. Is <laughs> Aikiko eats blank for breakfast. Eggs and rice with eggs fish. Rice. fish. Yes, eggs, rice with fish. A typical of Australian breakfast is what? Milk and cereal. Milk and cereal. Milk and cereal. 
Molten cereal. Yeah. A typical Australian dinner is similar to a typical British 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 dinner. British. All right, let's listen to part two. I don't know, kangaroo. Kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, he did oh. mention kangaroo, uh, kangaroos. Can, kangaroos. But he yeah. said in special, in the special occasion. It's delicious, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's delicious, you need to taste it. Have you ever tasted the perro burgers? <laughs> in the stadium? Estadio de Cojatlán. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I must have eaten the dog somehow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Listen to the next part. Listen to a conversation between two students, then check the correct answers. Hi, Carl. Hey, you seem annoyed. What's up? Oh, I'm just mad because it took me an hour and a half to get to school today. Why? All the construction on the subway lines. My regular train was delayed, so I had to take a different train. And then I got on the wrong one, and it's just so frustrating. Yeah, I hate that. I know they have to work on the subway lines. That's not the problem. The thing that bothers me is they don't tell you in advance. They just change the schedule and you're stuck. I mean, what if I had missed a test in one of my classes? But you didn't. No, but I missed an appointment with my advisor. Now I have to wait two weeks to see her. And my graduate school applications are due soon. Bummer. Yeah. I need her help with my personal essays. One of them is driving me crazy. Just ask someone to switch appointments with you. That's a good idea. I'll check the names on the list of appointments posted outside her door. Thanks. Definitely this man is glass generation. <laughs> Do you understand that bummer? Yeah. What is bummer? Like, ah, oh, bummer. If it's the name of, of a specific generation, I think. Uh, yeah. People who, bo who was born uh, oh. maybe in the 70s. 70s. No? No, uh, but good, no, good, bummer. good try. But uh, that's a bloomer. Oh. Bloomer. Bloomer, mm. bloomer where you, you know the bloomers? I, I think the majority of us, we're Generation X. We are after the bloomers. If you are in your late 30s, it is a, a bloomer or boomer? I, I I know. Boomers. I, I I'm sorry, boomers. It was boomer. Boomer. Boomers. Bloomer yeah. is a different thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, bloomer. <laughs> so I, I was thinking, I'm sorry, there's a band called the oh, it's a Bloom. Bloom is también. Um, oh, yeah. Lo que hace una flor, but blooms. Yeah. Bloom. I'm sorry, no, it's boomers. Boomers boomer, is. Yeah. It, boomer. Is all those people that were born after the Vietnam? No, no, after World War II. So they're called baby boomers because a lot of people died in the war in the United States. So then the government, they started to incentivate people to have children. And during that time, many, many children were born. So those are the boomers. We are the Generation X. No sé por qué somos Generation X. Y están los millenniums, y no sé qué. En el más salvadoreño, yo soy otra cosa, because I was born in November. So that means I was conceived in, maybe in Valentine's Day. <laughs> because in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, exactly nine months. Entonces yo fui una cita de... Yo fui la cita de Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but, but bummer, bummer, esto es con B-U. Bummer es como decir, oh, I'm sorry, soy bien feo, es como decir, oh, recorcho, Liz. Mm -hmm. Qué mal trip, oh, man, qué mala onda, bummer. Hey, what happened, man? I lost, I forgot my keys in the car. E, that's a bummer. That, that is the expression, bummer. Bummer. 
Oh, thank you, Carlos. Yeah, I, I want to see this later. No problem. I'm going to download. Cool. All right, so Carl is upset because, because he's upset because of everything. Uh, yeah, because his train was delayed. His train was delayed. Oh, and he was crying. Carl Vista. was complaining. He needs a meeting with his, meeting meeting with with his, his advisor. advisor. His advisor, yes. And Carl is having trouble with? For his application. Uh -huh. Amazing. The woman suggested that Carl? Switch appointments with someone. All right, cool. Thank you. He should come to El Salvador. Oh my God, ¿por qué no? because there was a manifestation. People walk. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love that. I love that about my people. You see, like people close the Boulevard de, de Soyapango. Oh, it was an accident. No, but like when there's a stupid manifestation because there's no water, right? And they close, they close the um, Ilopango Boulevard, for example. And people are coming here to work to Santa Tecla. And they don't complicate themselves. They just get off the bus and they start walking. You know, yeah. that was, you know, like, wow. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's my people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, class, then I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Remember, ah, tomorrow's okay. Friday. David, David. Yo. Yes. Uh, can we just take a little place to the, the combine and rewrite the next one? And we have trouble with two of them. Oh, okay, okay, sure, hold on. With this one? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna show you the answer so we can do them tomorrow, okay? Yeah, just, just the num number two and number four. Everybody get issues with that. Okay, yeah, you're right. I was seeing that when I got on for it. Here, let me, let me send it to your chat. I'll send it to the chat. Okay. Is that okay? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, there are the answers. Yeah. And you said the next one, right? No, no. Just, just with that, that one. Just, yeah, just that one. The number All right, cool. Number yeah. Okay, then we'll continue then tomorrow. Hey, Carlos Leon. Carlos. Yes. I don't want to offend you, or maybe it's a compliment. I don't know. But you look like a very, very young Funes. Very young what? <laughs> very very young Mauricio Funes. No, no, no. When, when he was in channel when he was in channel twelve, I think. I remember him, but I, I, I'm not agree with you. I disagree <laughs> with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you 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 have a mix between like a young Funes and uh, there's another politician, famous politician. Hey, don't worry. People confuse me with Brad Pitt. Uh, ah, hey, come on, come on, Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I can't say, you know, I'm on. <laughs> okay, class. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Remember, okay, pupusas yeah. are on me tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, see you. Bye. Okay, bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night. bye, -bye.